for so long while this conversation was going on, I know you must have heard that nurses in the UK right now, their records are being, you know, reviewed again. Yes. Over, and there are a lot of forgery cases that they've been accused of. A lot of them have been indicted to a large extent. Looking at the, what Atiku has done, a lot of people say he's also corrupt. He had, he's not in a place to begin to talk a point, fingers at Tinubu and all of that. But Atiku is not saying, fix the country for me. He's saying, fix it for everyone involved. And now he's calling on everyone to come on board. How critical is it for us to begin to talk about enthroning truth and accountability in governance in this country? What uh, me, I have read the, <clears throat> I will listen to the press release. Mm. I think we are back, and I know that the other party will do their own very soon. Oh, we are coming to that. They already did. Uh -huh. mm. So you find out. Let me tell you the truth of the matter. Nigeria has become a theater of frustration. Nigeria has not achieved its potentials. Nigeria is a country as described by the late Sarge. Namdi Azikiwe as a giant in the sun with spindle legs and distended tummy. Nigeria is drifting to perdition and abyss right from 1999. And unfortunately, at my age and at the age of older people, Nigerians who were younger at that time, we have found out that even the plutocrats are the ones still detecting determining our future for us, subjugating the youths and our common deal, struggling for the life of the country called Nigeria. If Nigeria were to be a human being and these two giants are struggling to have Nigeria, I'm telling you that Nigeria would have been manacled in a box with chains all over his legs and mouth and everything because they don't want Nigeria to go because they want Nigeria to come to them and bless them. How be it that at this point in time, when India has gone to the moon in 2023 to go to the darkest side of the moon, America has repaired their electoral, whatever the case may be, Britain changed their government, the prime minister, without even the local government people knowing about what is going on. That Nigeria is still battling. Apart from the big brother Nigeria, I have never seen any comic show that has raised, you know, volumes of traffic in the social media like this particular issue. Talking about election of a country who wants to become whatever the case may be, for me, it's an aberration. That old people at the end of the day are the ones who are, you know, talking about forgery, perjury, etc. as the case may be. What do you want the future Nigerians to be? In a country where you find that innocent people have been detained, a man like Nabi Kano has been in detention for years, and nobody's talking about it, then we come to say we are fighting. People are giving press conferences to begin to determine issues that are not burden on us, Economically, ETC. Fuel is about 605 naira per liter right now. Nigerians cannot feed. There is killings and angst in the land. And yet, we are still talking about it. Yes, people say that the political determine the economic and what that case may be. But I want to say with due respect, even though I know that is Christian, though they say the spirit is spiritual, you know, you know, control the physical. I know that the spiritual that controls the physical is a very well-being spirit. And a spirit that will not bring suffering before it controls the fiscal. So, Nigeria, I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm perplexed with apoplectic rage. That is why you see me saying this. I will round up on that. I will not run my comment on that. This thing. For me, it's all a chariot and a sanctimonious attitude being rendered by sophists in sophistry and at work. That is my take on this, please.